When we talk about quality of life, first of all, let's talk about how we made it to that same. Right? I work with a group of folks who wrote a climate justice plan, and all the things that we talk about, air, litter, and noise, that was a part of the work that this community participated in. And when we talk about air quality, there's air monitoring coming into play. But we can't really talk seriously about air quality when we have a port that is not nearly far enough away that should a storm happen, because the big storm is going to happen, and we will make Katrina look like a rainstorm. And so there has to be a way by which that the city and the state and the federal government take seriously that the people who live on this side of town want to have a good quality of life because that's where it begins. That people don't think that we want to have a good quality of life because we allow all these things to happen. Now when we talk about litter, Mr. Katala told you what it was. It's about city services. But here's the thing. If you see garbage in your community and you know better, then you should do better. That can't just be on the people who serve in the city council. Yeah, you live here too. You pay taxes too. Make a call. There's nothing stopping you from making a call, so make it. Now, when we start talking about the noise, I had a long conversation with a constituent, and what we talked about is we talked about the education that has to happen. Because before it was salsa, it was hip hop. Before it was hip hop, it was rock and roll. Let's not pretend that these people or those people are the only ones who play their music too loud. Can we not sometimes ask for each other and behave like the neighbors, right? I know that I have experienced this phenomenon where people will play music and it's half past midnight. I've also seen my mother go outside and knock on the door and say, hey. And not only did they turn the music down, they turned it off. Because there was compassion for this 70-year-old woman. And I think that that's how we have to start talking about things, with compassion, not with enforcement. We need to be neighbors, April Brown, or nine. <laughs>